I've got several brushless motors out of old hard disk drives and uh, floppy disk drives and I wanted to have a go at uh, driving them. Uh, to do this you need a uh, driver IC which handles the commutation to the three separate phases of the motor and I found this one the A4941 which is a sensorless fan driver it's like the name suggests meant for use in fans but will drive any old uh, three-phase motor uh, quite happily the connections are quite simple there's very few external components a sense resistor some control inputs and uh, uh, pulse output to tell you how fast the fans are going so I made up a little uh, breakout board <coughs> That's the chip on the bottom. I've heat synced it. There's a thermal pad on the back of it, so I've heat synced it out with a piece of copper foil. There's external connections to the motor. Four wires is common, and the three phases. And I've got a scope measuring the uh, the pulse output. So first of all, we'll run this little floppy drive motor. Actually I think it was maybe a zip drive motor. I've got three of them uh, in my scrap box. <clears throat> so I'm running it from a 12 volt supply and here we go. Spins up nicely. Sometimes it has a little trouble deciding which way to start. Uh, because this is a sensorless driver it relies on back EMF from the undriven coil and unless the motor is spinning it up above a certain speed there won't be enough back EMF produced so it can skip around a little. That's the square wave waveform produced. The frequency is about 900 hertz and I found that this is a four pole motor so that will, you multiply that by 4 to get the rotational frequency in revs per second. So it works out at about 15,000 RPM. Okay. We'll try the hard drive motor now as well. I had to tape it down, this, tape this down because it uh, tends to run away with itself. The, the contacts to the motor were through some little sprung pins on the back of the back of the motor, so I just made a little uh, bit of circuit board uh, to contact it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that goes on to there. And here we go. Okay. With the this resistor, I've actually limited the current that can flow, and for this larger motor, that's not actually enough current to get it turning. So I'll just short out the current sense resistor to start it with. There we go. And this spins up to about five or six thousand RPM. Runs very smoothly. It's quite a bit of gyroscopic effect from the rotating mass. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to the zip drive motor 
it actually does something rather funny if I can get that connected. I'm trying to do this with one hand. There. We spin that up. And then raise it on one edge and drop it. A bit like a gyroscope trying to balance on one edge. Okay, I hope that was interesting. Uh, it just shows it's quite easy to drive one of these motors if you've got the proper chip uh, to do it. Okay, thanks for watching.